I'm Janet at ATA, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the popular Lumia M Pro. What I'll be showing you today is what comes in the complete package, the assembly of your photo booth, media installation for your printer, basic use of the software, and lastly, how to put your photo booths back in their cases. Now that you've ordered your Lumia M Pro complete package, you should have the following items. Your Lumia M Pro photo booth in its case, the printer, and its travel case, as well as these following items. The items you'll need are two spool holders, a USB cable, a power cable, roll of printer paper, and a color ribbon. Lastly, you'll need a power extension cable like this one that is not included in your purchase. You'll want to make sure to find one that suits your needs but is not excessively long as we're going to be keeping it in the photo booth when we're packing up and done. Step one, let's get your printer set up. Now you might be worried, my printer's a different brand or a different model. No worries, we have links that are going to correspond to your printer and how to set that up for you. So go ahead, click on the link that corresponds to your printer and watch that video now. I'll give you a moment. Good job, you did it. Let's set up our photo booth. We need to open up the photo booth case. Release all the latches and lift up the lid. You'll notice that the photo booth is arranged in the exact order you need to assemble it. Get your base plate out and set it on the floor. Now, pull out the lower column section. This is the one with the large access hole. Also notice the guide plate on the base. It helps you quickly position the column and we just screw it down. Make it good and tight. Now, insert the second column, noticing the position of these tabs and the smaller hole, like so. We now need to choose the location of the bolt-on printer shelf. You should also have these four screw knobs handy. You can install the shelf on the front or the back. This is a personal preference, so go ahead and choose what you like. Don't completely tighten until the end. Let's do the other side. Finally, insert the two cross members to bring it all together. And lastly, we lock everything down by pushing down on the column like this and tighten the knobs. This does make a difference. Now we mount the head unit, making sure the front is on the correct side and secure it with the final two remaining screw knobs. Let's mount the printer onto the shelf. Now we open the back door of the booth with a coin. We need the printer USB cable and the power cord. We plug the corresponding end of the USB cable to an available port on this hub. And we plug the corresponding end of the power to an available outlet on the strip. And then we run the cable down through the bottom of the head unit and into the column and then fish it out through the center of the column. Now we plug them into the printer. Flip the printer on as well. If this is the first time assembling your photo booth, you'll notice that the camera is not already installed. It comes packaged in one of the columns to ensure that it's safe during shipping. So if you need to install your camera, we'll provide a link and you go ahead and click on that link now to get that done. I'll wait. Now we run the power extension cable down the column and fish it through the bottom access hole. Find your nearest power outlet and plug it into the wall. Finally, you'll flip the power on. Press the tablet power button and boot it up. Lift up the bounce card and turn on the constant light ring by tapping on the capacitive touch sensor on the side. And a touch and hold adjust the intensity up and down. Just release when you reach the amount you want. Let's see what's inside the photo booth. This is the Windows tablet. You turn it on from here. This is the DSLR camera. It has a dummy battery for continuous power. This is the hot shoe. 
it triggers the strobe flash. This is the USB input. Here is the power supply for the tablet. Here is the LED controller for RGB edge lighting. This is the 12 volt power supply for the ring light and the LED edge. This is the power supply for the dummy battery. Here is the strobe flap. You can test it by pressing this little red button, just like this. The tablet should now be booted up and on the desktop, you'll find two icons. This red one is the AnyDesk app and it will allow ATA to give remote assistance if it is ever needed. The blue one is the DSLR booth. This one is the photo booth app. We double tap it and it will load up and give us a start screen. This is the status indicator for the Symphonia printer. It will tell you if the printer is ready and how many prints you have taken and have left. Look at that. You just set up your photo booth. You should be proud of yourself. Now, go ahead, have some fun, go snap some photos and make some memories.